with Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shoma, and I have another rant for you today. <clears throat> um, I've been talking about women's basketball in the WNBA a little bit. You know, of course, still talking about Caitlin Clark, Angel Reese, sneaker designs, attendance, etc. But today, another player decided to make some comments that cannot at all in any way be beneficial to the potential future success of the WNBA. So most recently, Natasha Klapp, that's her name. She is a guard for the Phoenix Mercury. She is a, I think, 10-year vet around there. Nine years. She's been in the league for, this is her ninth year. She was with the Washington Mystics for her first eight seasons. Career average of 8.2 points per game. This year, averaging 11 points per game with the Phoenix Mercury. This past week, she made a comment directed to men. She says in a tweet, I'm tired of hearing, I'm tired of hearing men talk about our league, knowing nothing about our history. Invest or STFU, respectfully. STFU. This is the message from a mid-tier WNBA player telling men to shut the fuck up. Who is it directed at? I don't know. Is it directed to Charles Barkley because of the things that he said last week? <clears throat> or is it directed just to men in general? I don't know. But I know this. If men stop watching the WNBA, the attendance, the viewership will plummet into the toilet. What kind of brain-dead buffoonery is this? Natasha Cloud has to be out of her ever-loving mind, thinking that tweeting this would be okay, and think that she would not have some backlash. So here are some of the responses that she's gotten on Twitter from men. We have been investing by watching the NBA. Learn that history, then take your own advice. Another response. Talking like y'all profitable or some men is half, over half y'all viewership. Chill out. You need, you need to say this to the woman who don't support y'all. Another one. So the WNBA want all this revenue and eyes on the product. All these years, yap, yap, yapping. And now that they do, they complain. So let's talk about this for a quick second. <clears throat> and I won't take up too much time on this one because Natasha Cloud truly isn't worth the energy to really speak on her because she doesn't actually have a following as she is a nine-year veteran who averages a career 8.2 points per game. She's a mediocre player. That's what she is. She's an average mediocre player in the WNBA. And she's sitting here telling men to shut the fuck up, to know history. My dear. I was an adult when the WNBA started 27 years ago. I've probably seen more WNBA basketball than she has, even though she's on a team right now. I would venture to guess that until she got to the WNBA, I had seen more WNBA games than she had. I'm guessing that. Because I'm a because especially early on the WNBA, I would watch a lot of WNBA. I watched Cynthia Cooper, Cheryl Swoops, Lisa Leslie. I watched all the, I watched all those Houston Comets championships. I bet if you ask her who the Houston Comets are, she probably wouldn't even know that that was the champion for the first four seasons of the league. I think they were the first four, something like. That. And you're sitting here telling men to shut the fuck up and learn history. I know basketball, I know history, and I know that your league doesn't make money. And I know that if it wasn't for the NBA subsidy, nobody would care about your league. The league would have ceased to exist 15, 20 years ago. How many franchises have folded during the history of this league? <clears throat> I don't know the number. I'm guessing at least 10. And now they're trying to regrow the league and throw a team in 
Toronto and what other whatever other area of the country or in north somewhere in North America. Someone needs to tell people like Natasha Cloud to she needs to shut the fuck up. She needs to not talk. She needs to know her role and shut her mouth. As The Rock says. Know your role and shut your mouth. Because you're not helping your league when you say absolutely ridiculous stuff like that. What are your thoughts? How would you how do you feel as a man if you're a man who watched this video right now and you're a man who's watched some WNBA basketball and let's be real, we know why everyone's watching now. It's not Natasha Cloud. If Natasha Cloud walked right by you in the street, you'd have no idea who she was. So I am going to put a picture of her on this pod, on this video, so that the world knows who she is. Because it's real easy when you know, when no one knows who you are to talk. At least none of these young rookies have said something as ridiculous as that. No, it takes a bitter, petty, miserable, nine-year veteran to tell men to shut the fuck up and learn history. Because I can tell you what, I probably know more WNBA history than she does, as do most men. And most men know basketball probably better than she does. Yeah, I'll say it. I don't have to have played to know basketball. I don't have to have played. I coached it for many years. I don't have to have played at a high, high level to know basketball, to know the history of basketball. And neither do most people. But the fact of the matter is your league is in dire need of male support because women won't support your league. The people who are supposed to support your, support your league don't support it because your product is not very good. I mean, I've said it before. I think the product is trash. And I still think that. This is a nine-year vet. She shoots 36.2% from the field. She's been in the league for nine years. Her career shooting percentage is 38%. Her career three-point shooting percentage is 30.6%. She shoots at a level that would not survive two seasons in the NBA, yet she's been in the league for nine years. She's never averaged more than 12.7 points per game last season. She's an average basketball player telling fans who may support her team, her, her sport, to shut the fuck up. So what are your thoughts? Love to hear some feedback. Did you even know who the hell Natasha Cloud was? Because I guarantee you, you wouldn't know what she looks like if she walked right by you. But she has the audacity to tell people to shut the fuck up when talking about the sport. Trust me, we would love to not have to listen to the freaking female basketball narrative that's being pushed all around these national media networks. We would love it. They don't promote the NBA as hard as they promote the WNBA right now. And we know why they're promoting it. So while they're promoting the hell out of it, this dumbass thinks it makes sense to say what she just said. Well, I hope a lot of men stop watching and, and shut the fuck up and turn the TV off too. And she can find out what it is when she has a 50% female audience and that's all that's left because the men decided to not watch anymore. But what are your thoughts? Love to hear your, hear your comments. Be sure to follow, subscribe, and like. Come on now, uh, come on now, podcast on Facebook, Instagram, and and TikTok, and on uh, Twitter. Come on now, pod, and of course, like, follow, subscribe our videos on YouTube. Come out with new content every every day, pretty much. So uh, be sure to check us out and share this video. Thanks so much. Thank you for watching. Come on now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell. So you get up to the minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.